and we live. So how much longer are we actually in the quarantine? Oh, shit. Well, I'm in Georgia, bro, and we already, I'm pretty sure we opened back up. Damn. I thought, uh, I saw on the news that uh, pretty sure everybody was opening back up, but only two states actually passed the, uh, the federal regulations to, to open up. I guess they're just kind of leaving it in the hands of the state, so. What's that, like Montana, probably the only first uh, state that, one of the only states that probably passed the regulation? Probably one of them oh, type man, of states. It, it could have been. I forgot what it was, man. I forgot. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, the minimalism thing. There's a, I don't know, it's like a, you just notice how much time is actually wasted. And the, the, uh, a good way to notice it is to actually just, uh, you know, try to be, if you try to be less minimalistic, then you see how much more complicated your life gets. You yeah. know, it, you know, it's like start, start focusing on, you know, what kind of zipper is on your pants, you know what I mean? And you'll see, you know, buying pants is, is going to be a lot harder for you. Um, I mean, same with other things. So, I mean, if, if you just flip it, you know what I mean? You, you just care about all that shit less. It, it brings back this, uh, you know, this, this simplicity in life that, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of us still kind of long for. Yeah. And I remember what I was thinking about earlier, I forgot what I was going to say. And then I was like, Oh yeah, I just remembered. Uh, when you have something that you're trying to accomplish, I guess you could say, or you have like a, uh, kind of like how we make music. Like I feel dumb spending my money on like clothes and just extra miscellaneous stuff. If I don't got all the gear and equipment or plugins, whatever that I want, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, why am I, yeah. why am I spending a thousands of dollars on clothes? But I'm sitting here like, oh, I can't buy that. That's a thousand dollars. That's the, like, I've caught myself thinking like that before. Like, where I would be like, oh man, I'm not about to buy that. That's expensive. But you don't spunt. You went to the mall and spunt in two weeks. Probably don't spunt what five hundred dollars or something like that. Like then it's like, bro, you could have bought this and you could have bought that. And that's what made me kind of change change the way I, I did stuff. Like, like I, I, I started buying more equipment and stuff like that. Like, I will go cash out at Guitar Center or something like that. But, like, that – uh, and me now, bro, like, I have to see it in my email. Like, if I get an email from Levi's and they're, like, 70% out, 70% off closeout sale, I'll get a couple pairs of jeans or something like that, like, Stuff like that, bro. I'm just not on this whole quote unquote drip wave. Like, I don't care about that, bro. Like, yeah. I mean, half of, I mean, most, most of that shit, <coughs> most of that shit is damn near just how you rock shit personally, anyways. Like, mm. I done been the only motherfucker in the crowd wearing a whole Walmart outfit. Like, and that shit, you yeah. It, it ain't affect nothing like it ain't affect nothing about my night is i mean it takes being this this uh you know this age and shit uh to you know for you to really realize that yeah and is just, there any just how it looks on you too how you wear it bro because i've seen people wearing designer from head to toe and it look like trash bro yeah you know what i'm saying like how you yeah, you're like nowadays you'll see you'll see people with big bellies like dudes with big bellies wearing tight ass designer shirts bro <laughs> like i'll be like with, bro they be rocking on. the skinny be jeans rocking the fur boots with skinny jeans bro and, and you weigh 260 pounds like <laughs> bro and that's the thing bro why is this all all of a sudden now this is cool when you was probably making fun of that i ain't gonna i've been wearing skinny since i was in the sixth grade bro like it's not like I had, it's not like I, all my pants were skinnies or whatever, but I had pairs of skinnies. Like I said, I used to skateboard, bro. So like, that was what was going on. Like I was wearing yeah. like slim fit and stuff like that before that was even a cool thing. Like I remember people, even when I was in high school, people were like, boy, them little ass pants. And like, I just thought it was normal. Like, like, I feel like it looked goofy to wear baggy pants because then it cover up your shoes, bro. Like what's the point of wearing fresh shoes and you got like big ass pants on, you know what I'm saying? Like. 
I don't know. Yeah. And but now all of a sudden everybody's style just changed. Like, oh, this this like that I feel like that just goes to show how uh how how little I guess you could say uh, personal like creativity people have when it comes to their style and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um <coughs> Yeah, man. I mean, like I always say, step one to being able to sell somebody thousand dollar draws is to have someone stupid enough to buy a thousand dollar draws. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a big fact. Yeah. That's um um is is there anybody who you like who you who guide you, you know, online or I or whatever that uh through uh you know being able to handle handle your money. I mean it's not even handling your money really though. It's like just being able to to prioritize like what what it is you're trying to do like you know there's like motivational speakers and shit like is there any of them that stand out to you bro the person who like changed the way i look at stuff and like just like put me on a different kind of way of thinking and just everything is this dude named brandon carter he's like a fitness uh influencer slash businessman entrepreneur type dude and like i kind of watched him like go from like being like a you know a kind of he had a, a big youtube following and stuff but i watched him like really like grow that thing like from where he wasn't he was like everything was kind of small <laughs> to where he's like known like he's at the the fit expos and stuff having his own tables like he had his own supplement company and everything like but he kind of like just watching him. He's he put me on a lot of books, a lot of just like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was just on some on some stuff that I ain't really seen or heard. Like he was one of the first like black uh, fitness YouTubers who I seen who was like talking like black folks talk like, and he just didn't have no filter on nothing. And like I was so I just ended up following him. And then like then I like dove into what he was talking about stuff, and he was just like he was smart like. <laughs> real good with money talk about he like he living i mean i know it's common for people who live in new york not to have a car but like just the way he would like he would explain why he doesn't do certain things with money like i would be like oh okay and like how he would be like i got a million like when his business got bigger and he would be like i got a million dollar business but i'm not taking out a big salary like you know what i'm saying like i'm reinvesting back i'm like dang like most people think like, oh, I got a million dollar business, bet I'm gonna take half a million out. Like, you know what I'm saying? As long as the business uh is taking care of itself, stuff like that. Yeah. Like not thinking about like I growing like your business. Yeah, you know yeah I like saying? that. Like and, uh, <laughs> that's just stuff that I I wasn't on to, bro. Like it's that's the crazy thing, bro. Like I had both my parents and stuff like that. And my mom, like, they don't explain to you why like you should do anything. Like like you just kind of tell you like my mom would be like save your money and i'd be like save my money like for what like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like <laughs> and you would be thinking okay I, I still got some bread i'm about to get paid next week or whatever like yeah. you know what i'm saying i'm saving my money like whatever yeah. like, you feel like shit my shit ain't hit zero yet so yeah shit, I, exactly I still got paper you not they they never told like nobody like my dad my mom like nobody ever told me like stack up a few check like this is what I if I had kids I'll tell them I'd be like once you first get a job bro act like you didn't even get no job just let your first like six months of checks three months of checks well however you want to do it stack up before you even spend your money like you want to get you want to have like have like a couple thousand so then like no matter how much you're getting paid at your job you still got money to sit on so it's like it doesn't really like it's not going to affect you like say say something happens or you need to go get this or you need to go get get this you can spend that check on whatever you need and it's not really going to affect you like that but nobody really like explained that to me i had to figure that out myself like oh sh like you like i remember the first time i worked a job and i had got a big old check and then like they paid me extra for like some equipment that I didn't even need. So I just got like a thousand dollar check, bro. I remember I instantly, like, I, th I thought they messed up. So I w took my little pay card to the ATM and just cashed all the money out just in case it was a mistake. <laughs> and then I bought a bunch of zips. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I knew what to do too. I was like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> like they gave me all this. I'm about to buy some zips. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah. 
that it's just crazy. So it's like, I mean, honestly, bro, like I've been noticing just like watching YouTube videos like of younger kids or just like meeting younger kids or whatever and just hearing them talk, bro. They're a lot smarter than a lot of kids was just because of the internet now. Because like even when I was about 18, 19 and I was on YouTube just learning, like these like the the younger kids, they were doing that at the same time as me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like these like these younger kids, bro, like they're they they be so like they're so much smarter now. Like and they're just so much more aware of more. Like I, I remember my, my little cousin, uh, just what he was aware of, like he's only seven. Like I remember he was talking he was talking about like YNW Melly's case and stuff like that. Like I was like, bro, when I was seven, I would not have been thinking about no 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 murder case bro and like know the details like he knew the details he was like murder on my mind song and I was like bro like it's just crazy how much like just off of access to the internet like how much more you can know now yeah it's it, it's fucked up how uh you know nowadays <laughs> I mean not to say that didn't happen back in the day you know in the, in the early internet days but nowadays man the bullshit is like guaranteed to find its way into these motherfuckers' heads, bro. Like, mm-hmm. but like, <laughs> it's, a du- it's a double-edged sword, though. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I mean, the the good thing. I mean, just you got to be able to spend your money on on, <coughs> like, on how you want your how you want your life to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh mm-hmm. <coughs> you wanna get started on that shit early, bro. Like shit, if you in your late teens and you get a job and shit, you start making bread like that, <coughs> go ahead and get straight to that shit. Like like I mean that's what I'm saying. Like let's go back to the mall, the mall scenario. So you take the first ten people <coughs> Okay, that's two thousand dollars they're gonna spend right there. You know what I mean? With the taxes they're about to spend, let's say it's twenty five hundred, all of them. So you got twenty five hundred dollars that these motherfuckers about to spend. Motherfucker, this is ten people, bro. Ten people need to be able at this day and age. Ten people should be able to come together and say, okay, look, we got twenty five hundred dollars and we need to make something happen for all of us, bro. With 10 people, you got a whole record label staff. Like the whole thing. You got a whole independent label staff right there. You know what I mean? But uh, but I mean, but people are willing to cash all that in for shoes. That's That, that right there is one of the, uh, I mean, that's one of the fucking problems. Just like I said, you know, you want to sell someone draws, you know, expensive draws, you gotta be uh gotta be dumb enough to buy expensive draws. The same thing goes for the shoes too. And then if you know, the person, people, people if don't the person, if the person who buys them draws is has some influence, then domino effect from there. Yeah, man, I mean next thing you know, you looking around and shit and all your people shit, your people out here lost. These motherfuckers running uh you know, they're getting all their money and fucking, and but that shit getting exported straight straight back to France, straight back to Italy, you know what I mean? Wherever they, they, their clothes are coming from nowadays. Yeah, it's, I mean, bro, and it's like, you can't even really say nothing. Like, you know, like, that's what I've been on lately, bro. Like, when you first, like, go on that journey of beginning to learn new information and, like, you just like, bro, what? Like when you start realizing all these things, you feel like you got to tell everybody. That's how I was at least. Like I felt like I had to tell everybody. And now I'm just like, bro, like I'm, I'm not even on that no more. I don't even feel like, I mean like stuff like this, like how we do our podcasts and stuff like that. It's like for, for those whose ears are open to listen and this is what they want to hear. Cool. But it's like, I'm, I'm not about to go out my way to, to talk about anything out of the way just because like people just they'll look at you crazy like they're like what is you talking about like you know what i'm saying people's minds are so preoccupied with whatever they got going on that it's like stuff like that it doesn't even like this isn't even what they're thinking about on a day-to-day basis so when you bring that up to them it's just like 
Like, why are you talking about this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, it's just like, dang, bro. Like, I, like, I just, I don't want to be that guy either, you know? So it's like, I don't want to be that guy who's just always, it's like, hey, 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 the earth's in the da da da. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the dude on the street corner who's just yelling. Like, I don't want to be that dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be just that because, dude bust, busting up in the, uh, busting up in the barber shop trying to sell toilet paper and shit. Yeah. And then, like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to be that. But at the same, like, but that's the, that's the thing, though. I always make sure I'm staying sharp and up to date and, like, learning about these things because I do have these type of conversations with people. But it's like, whereas before I felt like, it's like, you got to put this on social media. Like you got to make this like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, there's really no point in it for real. Cause I feel yeah. like everybody, everybody, if they do need to learn about this or it comes to a point that they're going to find out about this or whatever, that they're going to do that on their own the same way I did. Like nobody was just screaming at me about this stuff. And I was like, you know what? He might be right. Let me check it out. Like I kind of was digging on my own and then just got deeper and deeper into it. Yeah. So with uh <clears throat> with Brandon Carter, is there anything that uh is there anything specific that he doesn't spend his money on that that you can think of? Specific that he doesn't spend his money on. Um but see, that's the thing, bro. I was su- I was like really tapped into what he was doing. Like I, I think I got hip to him in like 2014, and then all the way up to like 20, I'd say about 2018. And as of late, he hasn't really been doing what he used to do. Like he doesn't really do the YouTube no more. He doesn't do the vlogs and stuff no more. Like he's just running his business or whatever. So like he's still on Instagram, but like he doesn't do all the YouTube stuff no more. So it's like. I don't know. As far as I can remember, I couldn't really remember anything specific he doesn't spend his money on, but he's just pretty much like not doing dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's busy working on his business, like kind of like what we got going on, bro. We busy working on music, bro. Like, you know, like, what what are we going to, yeah. what are, we're not going to be out at the club spending money on drinks and going out to eat and stuff like that like 24 7 because we at the crib making music like that's why it's like i like i try to explain to people they'll be like man what you been up to what you been up to i hate when people ask me that bro i don't hate it like oh stop asking me that but it's like bro it's, i've been up to the same thing bro just making music bro like there's nothing <laughs> there's i'm sorry my life is not that interesting bro my life is not that interesting like Honestly, I do the same thing every day. I, you know what? That's what I was thinking. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, they kind of sensationalize being a being an artist a little more than they should. You know, not not and not more than the artist deserves. You know what I mean? But a little more than they should. I think it's the life. I, I think it's just a lifestyle of of like artists who are I guess quote unquote popping but it's like I feel mm-hmm. like not not you because you actually got like a, a a following and stuff like that but like someone like me bro I feel like it's a little more like like stigmatized you know what I'm saying like like where it's like if I told somebody oh I do music they'd be like oh like you know what I'm saying like I almost feel like that like when folks be like I rap because it's like <laughs> Every, you know what I'm saying it's like and I make music my damn yeah. self so and then when people be like oh I rap like but that's the thing like I it's not like oh because you make music or because you rap but it's but see that's this is my thing now bro when somebody tells me that and they feel like oh let's work or whatever like I used to feel that when you first start making music, you feel like you just got to work with everybody just because you feel like there's, you don't know nobody who make music or whatever, but then it becomes a more friend thing for me. Like, like I'm not trying to be around people that I'm, I don't really mess with like that. Like I'm not trying to be around people who like I wouldn't normally be around, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm, I'm not really like up to just like, Oh, you make music. Cool. I make like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we got to, it's like we almost got to get cool first, like on some just regular stuff, and then we end up making music. Like that's kind of like how we was, bro. Like it's not like we just we've known each other for what, like probably like what five years now or something like that. 
So it's like, and we really just started going hard making music together. Yeah. Yeah, we knew each other for like dumbass long before we even started doing music. Yeah. So like, I mean, and I feel like that's better because then it's like, okay, like we we actually know each other and it's like, we know what each other's about and stuff like that. Like, just think about <clears> that. Like if we didn't even like really fuck with each other and then we were trying to make music together, it probably wouldn't work as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because our personalities, like we kind of, I feel like we kind of have similar personalities into where like we kind of stay to ourselves. So it's like, we would not be going out of our way to like try to work with each other for real. Yeah, it's a, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, I've worked with, uh, have you ever worked with someone who was straight garbage? Straight garbage. You ever, you ever been in that situation? Straight garbage. I don't think so, cause and and you got to think I'm pretty new, I guess. So it's like, like anybody I would have been working with who was like not good, they was probably new too. So it was probably just that. But like I haven't worked with nobody who was just like, nah, I'm not trying to work with you. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? But that's my thing though. It's like I gotta like one of one of two things about you, like. <laughs> to work with somebody like I either got to like you as a person to where we just kicking it in the first place and we making music or we both like what, what each other got going on musically. And then there's like a mutual, like, like, you know, you cool, I'm cool type thing, you know, but it's like, I, like, I just couldn't see myself just working with somebody strictly off of the music, bro. Because like, I feel like I couldn't even give my best. Like if I, if I just actually didn't like the person, yeah, and yeah, that right yeah. there is uh, that right there is bad for for rap in general. And as as an artist, it's you it's your responsibility to make the right moves for for the for the whole for the big picture. Mm. You know what I mean? What this this giant thing <clears throat> we've been contributing to for the past thirty five, forty years, something like that. Like. Yeah, shit, you got to take that shit serious and shit. If you can't put your best, if you're in a situation where you can't put forth your best, then shit, then fuck that shit. Yeah, it ain't it, period. 